The windows and think they were bones. Lay hands on the bricks and I swear from the side. Which Sophie will be there? The one that drank champagne with me out of a crappy mug? Or the one who hurt so many people? Even herself? God, this is just like before. Please. That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. It feels good. Final. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Or maybe the world is cursed. We just live in it. Safi. That's poetry and bullshit? Yeah, I know. You're so important to me, Sophie. God. 
you're such a cornball. Uh. Pull the trigger. I can hear you.
emergency? Yes. Unfortunately, it's one only I think I can handle. Thank God. I walked out of the snapping turtle, and then somehow I was here. You see all this too, don't you? The eye of the storm? I see it. What the fuck is going on? I don't know, but if things are weird now, they're only going to get weirder. That's not comforting. I wish Moses was here. I hope he's okay. Come on, let's get inside. This storm is as bad as it looks. Maybe Sophie and Moses found shelter. Max, I'm right behind you. Diamond. The fab will be safer than the snapping turtle. It's closer. Let me have one win, please. Let Zafi be in here. times. That's not what it says. Moses smoking them. 
Why is he smoking at all? I thought Moses had the world's horniest grandma love that night. What is going on with Moses? Hey, uh, Moses? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. Have you seen Safi tonight? Eek. Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? So, should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? Just trying to capture the perfect photo. The perfect photo. The perfect photo. Hang on. Safi? All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Safi, are you in there? Max! Max, it's me, Moses. I. Moses! All right, Max, you have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? I don't know. I guess I'd... Superimposed two images of Moses on top of each other. Maybe I could separate the Safi parts out of Moses. Safiyet locked me in a kind of, I don't know, a sarcophagus. I was trapped, but still protected somehow. And I could hear Safi. I could hear you. Just outside of it, I... What did she say? She was hurting, Max. That's all I could tell. Whatever you did, snap me out of it. Or snapped her out of me? Max? Max, where? I'm sorry, I. Sophie? 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 You okay? been through something like it before. Reality gets unreliable. Better if you sit tight. Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Take care, Max. See you on the uh, flip side.
Where? This isn't Caledon. This is Blackwell Academy. Chloe was shot here. I listened to it happen. I... You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Chloe! Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I am so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <sighs> Maybe Sophie's right. <sighs> Maybe we are cursed. Cursed to relive our worst moments over and over again. I had a chance to save Chloe from this bathroom, from Nathan's gun. But to do that, I had to let Arcadia Bay get destroyed in a storm. I couldn't do that. I rewound time, gave her up to get shot a second time. Well, joke's on you, Storm. If you don't think I play out this moment in my head every day, then you don't really know me. Where is that coming from? I used to look at this every day. Sophie? Not Max and Chloe? So, <laughs> that's it then? We're done? Sophie's cooler than you ever were. <laughs> Cause she drives a Porsche? Cause she has powers. This is so fucked up. I would never. Praxis, the Vortex Club, always someone trying to be on top and getting hurt for it. This still isn't as funny as the artist thought it was. It's in one of these stalls. new. Lucas, I have to get down there. What are you looking for? Pretty deep birthday banner. Okay, one neb is cute. Kinda. One. Kinda. This is not that.
Jefferson's sick photos. One binder for each girl. I don't want to look at this. I don't. I don't. I don't. The door of Jefferson's bunker. I could never forget it. to get out another way. Oh boy, do I really want to? I told you this place was a portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Jesus, possessed dolls much? starting to hate you too. One of these days, I'm gonna find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. Screw this. busted. I'm not getting down this way. to look at this. I... 
I don't want to look at this. Staring at this makes my head hurt. Oh, I can feel him looking at me through that. Once is all you get. Time to get the hell out of here. I'm done with that now. to get down there to Lucas. I swear, any other day, a tree blossoming in a bowling alley would be the weirdest shit I'd seen that day. Still busted. I'm not getting down this way. Still busted. I'm not getting down this way. Still here. Thank God. Still need to get to Lucas. If not for Sophie that day, that would be my headstone. And now I have to return the favor. memorial tree. What the hell is it doing here? In the dark, we labored. And in the daylight, we disappeared. I wake, sweating and sick from dreams. Seawater spills from my lips. The beast has my voice clamped between its teeth. If I open my mouth, will she wake? If I open my mouth, will she wake? Uh, yeah. I... Yes, uh, maybe. 
Okay. Maybe I should sit for a second. Clear my head. I have to keep telling myself this isn't a dream. It's real. And I'm the only one who can make it stop. Loretta's here too? Loretta, you, you okay? I was following Professor Colmanero. I, I thought there was a story, but I'm so stupid. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Just stay here, okay? Wait, Miss Caulfield. Please don't go. I, I don't know what's happening. Don't worry. I can explain everything to you when this is over. You promise? I promise. We gaze at each other in the windowless box it is flight or fight. Never forgive. Lucas, it's me. It's Max. But there are no bells, doors, or windows. Only his face. A mirror. And I feel a forgotten hope. I like it's this quieter Lucas. I almost don't want to fix him. We wash the bodies of our daughters. We braid their hair. We do not write down their names. In the dark, we labored. And in the daylight, we disappeared. I wake, sweating and sick from dreams. Seawater spills from Lucas might be a danger to himself and others, even more so than usual. The beast has my voice clamped between its teeth. If I open... I... Smile, Lucas. Maybe double exposing the photo again? It worked with Moses. you in the flesh I thought I was dreaming Sophie was there what the shit is this place stay put okay it's dangerous out there I 
I think that's all I can do for Lucas. Miss Caulfield? Is that you? Reggie, I'm so glad you're okay. Max, what the hell is happening? I'm not sure. It has to do with time. A time vortex that manifests in a storm. Time vortex. Fuck, you're right. I remember Sophie being shot, and I remember seeing her around campus. Just stay here, okay? I'm going to fix this. This is Safi. Isn't it? This is her pain. What we did to her. Vin, I don't think Safi blames you for- <laughs> No. <laughs> You're right. She doesn't. She was in my head back there, and she doesn't think about me at all. Two Sophies in two universes, and neither of them cared if I live or die. <clears throat> you know, I I was in love with her. Or I thought I was. Maybe you should focus on what's in front of you. Yeah. I should go make sure Reggie's okay. He looks like he could use a hug. Or something. I'm going to fix this. Trust me. I do. I do trust you. Be careful, Max. Okay, out of the frying pan and into the turtle, I guess. Amanda, thank God. Are you okay? I don't know. Weird shit at the turtle is someone flipping the paintings with the bathroom key going missing, not this. close enough to take Gwen's photo. I'll never get through here with all these chairs in the way. Add good under pressure to the list of Amanda's talents. door seems to be blocked, too. I may have powers, but I'm not ripped enough to dismantle that chair pile.
There's so much snow. But at least I can get outside now. Really, Max? A photo now? Why are you always in everybody's business? We were having a moment. Maybe she has a voyeurism kink. Not like I'm one to kink shame. Just ignore her. Where were we? You were going to tell me more about your telescope. Nah, I can't do it. A little privacy, please. I have to tell Vin about my telescope. Sorry to interrupt. I can't leave yet. Gwen needs my help in the other world. Not sure why this door won't open, but maybe I can try the patio doors. Amanda usually keeps those unlocked. Thought I'd be used to this. At least the motel is new. Even if I were hungry, I'd rather just wait till I'm back in the snapping turtle to eat. Thank you for coming down to the station, Ms. Brown. I'm Dr. B On tonight's motel mishaps, Max tries to make a grilled cheese. Accidentally commits arson. Gut shot? Just, like, who put this here? Hmm. Sure she Chloe's lockpicking set. Feels like her way of looking out for me. Even when she wild pet my baggage is such an on-the-nose metaphor. That's why Safi is the poet. Not me. Chloe's lockpicking set. Feels like her way of looking out for me, even when she's gone. Confirm that this is your daughter, Zoe. It looks like her. No escape, huh? <laughs> Buddy, that's the story of my life. It's past time for me to get a new one, but we've been through so much together. Ah, yes. The famous mountains of Topeka, Kansas. Just how I like them. Tall, shady, and not too bright. That can't be the right time. Thank you for coming down to the station, Ms. Brown. I'm Dr. Mabel, the medical examiner. I know, I'm close. Have to keep going. Looks like her, but but Zoe is blonde. Not. Hmm. It appears she dyed her hair purple a few days before she was shot. Maybe this will take me to Safi. <laughs> Don't worry, Safi. I'm coming. Is this the same room? No. This is where I stayed in Santa Fe. I think. Much as I could use a hot meal, I think I'll stick with cold cuts. Blameless. God, I wish that were me.
If Chloe could see me now, pricking into bowling alleys and whatnot. You didn't have to put on your red dress for me. <sighs> the convenience and sadness of my profession, of my entire life, fitting in a single duffel bag. Hmm, the artist really captured this sleepy seaside vibe here. As far from Santa Fe as it gets. If you told me in high school the one constant in my life would be this tripod, I'd have guffawed. Just so you know, the more you say no escape, the more I'm going to try. I think things are getting unhinged in here. <sighs> Hang on. Okay, wait. This is... Pretty sure this is that motel in Cleveland. But what if I like the way my scars define me, huh, Doc? What if they give me character? You'd be proud of me, Chloe. The things I've learned, I'm proud of me. Love having to only grab one thing if I'm leaving in a hurry, but what if I want to stay a while? Damn, this painting actually feels like dreamland. I know how this is gonna sound, but that tripod taught me how to stand on my own two feet. All right, Cleveland. After this shoot, I'm gonna nap till June. Maybe September. I'm so tired. Oh, thank God. There's a bed. Let me rest my eyes. I didn't realize how tired I am until just now. Maybe if I lie down for a few minutes, all of these rooms will stop spinning. Feels so nice to rest. I wish I didn't have to get up for that shoot. Who was the client again? Or the location? Moving around so much. All these rooms really do start to blend together after a while. One big, amorphous blob of motels. Like some kind of nebula. 
out of here if I can't even open this door. How... How do I get out of here if I can't even open this door? If that door doesn't open, I swear I'm breaking it down. Let me out! Now that I've traveled to Purgatory and back, I can finally see what's going on with Gwen. Better check on Gwen first, now that the patio doors are clear. I'm back. Jesus, Max. Warner Girl first. Sorry. You disappeared and I don't know where you went. I'm okay. And I promise I'll explain everything. Later. should be able to reach Gwen now. Gwen, stay here and take shelter. Wait, what are you gonna do? Sophie's out there, somewhere close. I can feel her. And she needs me. I need her. Be safe, yeah? When am I not? Why do I always gotta fall for the weird ones? Forget you're so huggy. Did I do it? Are you you again? As much as I ever was. Thank you, Max. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find a way out of this place. Or this time. Hey, 
I'm taking a minute. All of that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. But who needs all the king's horses, all the king's men? I've got you to put me back together again. <laughs> anything I just took pictures false modesty is annoying Oof. so any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul Great. Fantastic. We'll deal with it. Time travel, alternate universes, scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends. What else can you do? things in life. Frappuccinos, movie marathons, chilling with your bestie in the void. Here's the thing. I'm glad you were here too. You know. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. You didn't mean to. Are you sure? I didn't not mean to. Maya isn't any less dead. Everybody I cared about still betrayed me. My mom. I'll never be different. I think the best thing would be clean break. I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After the wallet girl died, what did you do? I ran away. But I shouldn't have. It was cowardly. I've wasted years of my life hating myself, knowing that if I'd only made better choices, I might have saved everybody. Don't say that about yourself. You have it wrong. People like you and me, we don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of washed-up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do, gods can do that stuff. Or monsters. You 
can say whatever you want about the choices you made, but you aren't a monster. You're my friend. I hurt people. And I fixed it. We can fix it. Together. Of course. Duh. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Sophie, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your magic max bullshit. I wish I didn't have to take it out. Is that weird? Sophie. This is maybe the least weird thing that's happened to me in days. We should though, right? That's how we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. It's probably for the best. We don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> Sophia. Oh my god. Yes, mean. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you oh, Sophie, help me. Clean break. Remember? Oh, Maxine. Don't let her go. It's okay. Sophie. <laughs> you do have a place here. People need you. I need you, Sophie. Hmm. Sophie? I don't know her. I can be anyone, Max. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be... Sophie, stop it! It's... It's real? I wasn't hallucinating? What are you? And what did you do with my daughter? You can make her forget she saw that, right? Better yet, you can make me unshoot her. You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? If you think that's how it works, you don't know anything. There's always a price, Sophie. Always. You're right. Got a lot to learn. So teach me, Miss Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Sophie. 
I can't. I have, fuck, I have my, my life, everybody. I'm going to find other people like us, people with powers. I spent my whole life thinking I was the only one, knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. But now there's you. You and me. Time traveler and a shapeshifter. Imagine <laughs> what we could do. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now it works however I want it to. Stay here. Your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or is everything you said in the storm just words? Or you need to leave. There's nothing for me here. I mean, besides you. But you'll wait, right? Be safe, Safi.
classic Yasmin playing it close to the chest. They're all waiting for me, the snapping turtle. Good to know that the storm aftermath didn't undo the effort I put into that godforsaken puzzle box. There's always time to sit. In whatever reality, all those moments between us were real. Both realities somehow got smushed together in the storm. Now everything's the same, but not. How crazy is it that my brain can wrap around that so easily? Years ago, I would have been freaking out, but I'm okay. I'm not that same kid anymore. That storm haunted me for years. I can't let this one haunt me too. I don't think there's another world to cross over to anymore. I can't do that. I haven't been able to use those powers since the storm. I didn't know what to say. You start out a friendship to win a small cash prize in the campus-wide game. Loretta looks like she's running on empty. I guess we all are. Hey there. <sighs> Miss Caulfield. Sorry. I'm still kind of on edge. Thanks, by the way, for what you did at the nebula. I froze up. Hey, you were overwhelmed. Most people aren't prepared for reality to break like that. So, do you also remember that there were, like, two of you, and, and now they're fighting for space in your head? Well, it didn't work the same way for me. But that's because... Wait, are you asking on the record? This isn't for my podcast, I swear. I'm putting that on pause for now.
I'm glad. There's always time for clout chasing next semester. Damn, Miss Caulfield. Harsh. But fair. Take care of yourself, okay? We've all had it rough. Right back at you. Loretta, can I grab a picture of you real quick? To immortalize this calamity of a semester? Sure, why not? Loretta looks like she's running on empty. I guess we all are. The quad's looking pretty good after, you know, being hit by a supernatural storm. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. So... Glad to see you survived the storm, friend. Organizing the faculty and staff is still a great idea. Even if, or maybe especially if, Yasmin won't be Caledon pre- Uh... Do you- No use going that way. I've got other places to be right now. You know that consulting job offer I got? We've got to be silver linings about this one. Now's not the time. Moses is waiting for me at the turtle. Huh. Guess the Safi Memorial is no longer here. Or maybe never was. After all the storm shenanigans. Thomas, you're back. Mostly. Not there yet. My position's off. Uh, remember I sent the poem to that lit magazine? They want to buy it. There's Lucas, awaiting his fate at Caledon. Dead man walking. Working on your new book? Maybe you should switch to science fiction. Max, are you going to tell me what the hell I went through? Or do I have to spend the next decade in therapy? I don't really know how to explain what happened. But you should think of it as a second chance. One step ahead of you. I'm working on my apology as we speak. What do you say? Give a guy some constructive feedback? Bullshit. You're not sorry. You're just telling people what they want to hear. Well, we can't all have the integrity of the great Max Caulfield, can we? So, what's your next move? I'm not sure. Focusing on Robbie. And I'm hoping he'll give me a second chance. That's probably the smartest thing you've ever said. 
It's not like I can stay at Caledon. This place has been poisoned against me. Who's the victim now? Well, goodbye, Lucas. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Yasmin, I haven't heard from her since the day she came out of surgery. Hello? Hello, Vixie. How are you doing, you know, mentally? Not very well, to be frank. Half of me will never forget what I saw. When Safia became. The other half of me had begun to accept her as dead. Yasmin, what you saw during the storm... I don't need an explanation. Not yet. If I try to understand, then there will be no room for my recovery. And I will recover. I have to find Safia. Any news about your job? I heard the board, um... Ugh, I have been arguing with them. I made my mistakes, but these are offset by an excellent track record. And... did the board buy that? They did not, no. I have been asked, forced, to step down. I love my daughter, Maxine, just like you. I am not a monster. I haven't heard from Sophie, if that's what you're trying to ask. Oh. I, I had hoped. One moment. Excuse me, I'm, I'm apparently well past the appointed time to take my painkillers. <sighs> Until next time. Jesus, campus cleanup is gonna be a bitch. Here goes nothing. I guess I'm not surprised. Would you come looking for us if you were her? This is a go to your friends situation. Yeah. Maybe we should go easy on her. Wait for her to pick up the pieces. Take your time. I'll be here when you're done. I want to check on how everyone's doing first. God, Krampus feels like it was a million years ago.
Nah, I did the whole running thing before. This time, I have to face the music. Max, sorry, I just, you're gonna explain what happened, right? Hey, we okay? What do you think it all means? Why you, or Safi? I'm still trying to understand. I didn't know anyone else had powers until I met Safi. That must have been a revelation. You have no idea. How are we supposed to walk around knowing something like that could happen? This was terrifying, but you survived. Now you know you can. You'll be okay. Yeah. always looks like she has it perfectly together, even amidst all of this. So, <laughs> superpowers, huh? Seems like a lot. I hold that. Everyone knowing my secret kind of freaks me out. I'm not used to it. No offense, but I'm kind of feeling like I dodged a bullet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I'd want to date me either. <laughs> oh, now I feel bad. Honestly, Max, I still think you're pretty great. It's just... I don't know how I would have handled all this if I was tangled up any more than I already am. Got it. No offense taken. One more photo for the road? Sure. You keep at this, I'm gonna have to start charging a modeling fee. Ha ha.
That storm God. seems kind of evil. Krampus all feels like it was a million yeah, years ago. It was dangerous. But you're projecting. Forces don't have like, like ill intent. There's no good or bad in science. Has it two superpowered people just happened to find each Has other and then a weird time through? storm takes over our mind? I feel like I've known Moses my whole life. What do you say to a picture? For old time's sake. Moses has hypothermia. And now, crippling anxiety. I can never have enough shots of Moses. Safi for what happened? I just want to know she's okay. Not an answer. Whatever happened it's to complicated. Diamond after we split up There's so the much she didn't tell me. Really maybe she tried and I didn't pick up on it. Hey, Diamond. I'd like to get a photo for the end of the year. Mind if I... Okay. I was hoping she'd be a little more enthused, but... Everything's changing so fast. I'm not sure what I'll do you're when you graduate. You're the one who's been texting me for days. Well, you're the only person who was there. Who else am I going to text? Max was there. Max has... Stuff. I didn't want to bother her. You don't have any trouble bothering me. Or... At least those two have each other. Storm bonded. Hey, Max. Our Lady of the Storm. <laughs> wow, let's not do that. How are you guys holding up? Oh, my whole world has been rocked. You rocked my world. <laughs> I remember a bunch of things happening that I plan to repress until I have a spectacular nervous breakdown at age 40. At least you're in this together. Yeah. I, I don't know what I would have done if I was there by myself. <laughs> For now, I just want to get through this election. Oh, right. The Abraxas election. So you're not stepping down? I'd ask how you know that. But at this point, Caulfield, if you grew another head, I wouldn't even blink. <laughs> I'll get right on that. Hey, if something happened in the storm, so I mean, if you want to talk about anything. I'm fine, all right? Jesus. Diamond's gonna be. Do you guys mind if I take a picture? Hell yes. Put us in the next Caulfield collection. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of a cute couple, honestly.
I can't hear that humming sound anymore. There's only one world now. No more doorways to other timelines. Some weather we're having, am I right? Hope that wasn't the grand explanation you promised us. Hey, isn't eloquence your job? I just take the photos. <laughs> I felt how much she hated me, Max. It was terrifying. And disappointing. Safi was dealing with a lot. You couldn't have known. She needed someone she could trust. It should have been me. It's in the past now. I hope so. Oh, one more thing. That video footage of me, that was Safi, right? Yeah. Fuck. That girl never does anything halfway. Neither do you, now that I think about it. Anyway, I talked to the committee that fired me. There's enough weird shit that's happened, I think I can argue my way back in. I failed Safi. But there's other students here I can still support. I won't just let it go. I'm glad to hear it. I think that's everyone. Okay, Moses. Let's give them the talk. Mind if I take a snapshot to remember you by? Oh, whatever you want. This could be your last chance to take my photo. Make it count. Everyone's pretty shell-shocked. Yep. How about you? Still excited to have double memories? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Seriously? Come on, it's fascinating. What if Safi really does come back? She does some terrible things, Max. And you basically gave her your seal of approval. I'm not giving up on Safi. You shouldn't either. Jeez, Max, nobody's writing her off. But I hate being scared of my best friend. Hey, we're a team, right? I'll handle it with you. No more hiding or running away. Do you think you'll ever go back to Arcadia Bay? It's finally starting to make yeah. sense. One day. I never knew what to say when they'd say to call a friend But I think it's starting to make sense And I'll try to get it right To have you on my side I feel fine some days I just want to get it I think it's time I explained a few things. It 
won't always make sense. And I'm not proud of every decision I made. But you don't walk away like the rest do. And suddenly I have so much more. It's the truth. What's coming next is going to be difficult for all of us. But if we're going to get through it together, I promise. I just want to get it right. And I know that I won't have to. This time, I'm not going anywhere. Shit. Shit. We're gonna have to get you a blood transfusion. What the fuck are you doing here? You remember me. That's flattering. I've seen nosebleeds like that before. So you can run, or you can follow me and get some answers. Your choice. I said for so long that 
that I built a home. They tap at the windows and think they were bones. Lay hands on the bricks and I swear from inside I could feel it. Now here you are with your mallet and light out of your own house. You think it's all right? Don't touch my windows, my bricks or my rules. I won't hear it. Open the door. How do I know? Stillness means end or is danger just slow? I do not trust you. Don't trust myself. But someone was listening when I called for help. Can't tell the difference on unsteady floor. Will I be rewarded or lose even more? Safety in numbers, but I never said I was ready. Open the door, what if we find one was enough now? We should have stayed blind. I do not trust you. Fear is the loudest, but deep down I know I take